Hey, going to give a real quick overview of RoboRealm and how to use the laser spot filter. If you're not familiar with RoboRealm, check them out. It's roborealm.com or just do a search and you'll find them. Um, so real quickly, what we're going to go over is the spot filter, how to enable the API in RoboRealm, and then how to remotely connect to um, a machine running RoboRealm, obviously from another machine through API access. In this case, we'll use, uh, we'll use C Sharp Visual Studio. So we've got laptop machine number one right here on the back of the sofa. We've got a little USB webcam right next to it. We also have a little laser pointer connected to a circuit. You can see it's sitting on top of the calculator there. We'll swing over and you'll see the dot right there on the right hand side of the fireplace. And then finally, we have another laptop and machine. This is gonna be running um, the C-sharp code. So, running RoboRealm on machine one. We've got the laser points variable just reading out to the screen um, after we've applied the laser spot filter. Um, so that display variables is what's displaying the, the, the laser points. And then write variables is actually not uh, not applicable to this application, but I was tinkering with it, so it's uh, it's in there right now. So you can see those laser points just changing slightly from time to time. That's accounting. Uh, we can account for that for um, rather we can change that by messing with the laser po uh, laser spot threshold, um, distance, etc. There's a couple. Uh, Actually, there's more than a couple preferences that you can set on the laser spot itself. Of course, you can do some advanced filtering before you get to the laser spot, just to ensure that you're actually getting a really accurate uh, laser spot reading. So, essentially, what it, what the laser uh, the laser uh, rather the laser spot variable is doing is it's giving us the x and y coordinate of where that laser spot lies um, in relation to the entire image or to the entire camera. So I'm just gonna focus on there. We're gonna see our laser spots. Uh, it's uh, bouncing from, uh, you know, 202, 205, relatively accurate reading. So we got that running, lasers running. Let's swing over to the other machine. Here we've got our C-sharp application. Let that focus real quick. Um, we create an instance of the object, the, uh, the RoboRealm object API. We connect to it. Make sure if you're connecting to a remote machine like we are in this case, emit the, uh, or rather omit the HTTP and just drop in the IP address directly. Of course, if you're using a machine name, um, that'll work just the same. Um, we create a dummy variable do loop. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna access the get variable method of the RoboRealm object. And we're gonna say we want to read that laser points variable. Of course, if you create custom variables or all the variables associated or available in RoboRealm, you can read those as well. You can do that, you know, you can get a list of those variables right through the RoboRealm object, or you can certainly look directly in RoboRealm and see exactly what they are. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna loop through, loop to infinity, and we're just gonna get the value of the, uh, of the laser point variable coming through, and we're gonna sleep for take a little nap for half a second. So let's go ahead and run this. It's gonna pop up the console window, drag it up here, and you can see your X, Y coordinates just flowing in every half second. Of course, if you need higher resolution, take that 500 uh, milliseconds off. So let me just move our laser slightly. And of course, you can see the, ver the, uh, the X and Y values start to change. So, how useful is this? What can you possibly do with it? Um, quite endless opportunities, actually. My computer, of course, wants to restart as I'm shooting this. I'm gonna say later. So, super useful, all sorts of fun. Um, just imagine all the possibilities you can do with that.